This is one of the last recordings of the Kauai OO bird. These some of the final images of the ivory-billed woodpecker, species that are now gone, officially declared extinct in the United States this week. We dedicate our lives to preventing extinction, and so acknowledging that we might have lost that fight is hard. With alarming speed, animals, plants, and insects are disappearing from the earth. The United Nations reports more than one million species are on the brink, at risk of being wiped out, not just by human encroachment, but by the impacts of human-made climate change. The biodiversity crisis and the climate change crisis are highly intertwined. For example, climate change is impacting wildlife, either directly or indirectly, and leading to more extinction. In the last three years, 30% of the koalas in Australia have perished due to wildfires and drought. In Canada, more than 200 species of animals are today considered at risk. The Vancouver Island marmot is now one of the rarest mammals in the world. Their natural habitat and hibernation patterns disrupted by warming weather. Instead of pushing for protection one species at a time, we really need to look at protecting entire landscapes, entire ecosystems. Conservationists warn wildlife sanctuaries and protected lands alone are no longer enough. Migratory species like monarch butterflies are being decimated by a disruption in the weather patterns they rely on throughout the seasons. And it's not safe to assume any, any species is safe from climate change. Basically, the fate of all wildlife is in our hands now. Understanding the connection between climate and all life on the planet is an important first step. Without drastic measures to stop the Earth's warming, the sights and sounds of the wild risk being lost forever. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.